Ever wondered if you could use alcohol inks on your gel plate? Well, yes you can. Let me show you how easy it is to create super interesting backgrounds in a few easy steps and I have a gift for you to download so make sure to watch the video to find out how to get it. As you can see, my gel plate has residue from a previous gel printing session, but it doesn't matter because it will add some texture to the final prints, so I'm not cleaning it up. The easiest and most simple way to use alcohol inks on a gel plate is what I like to call the drop and move technique. It sounds a bit like a dance move, don't you think? It's the same process pretty much as working on UPO where you just drop the ink down and then make it move to create patterns. I think it's best to start with a limited palette of colors, so I'm choosing just three for now. Pink, turquoise and lime because they all go well together. Apart from the pink and lime which can create a bit of a muddy color, but that doesn't usually bother me so much with alcohol inks. Start adding drops of the three colors all around your gel plate, but don't try to cover it completely because we're going to make the ink move shortly. You can add a little bit of blending solution at this stage, or you can just do it later on. It's up to you. If you like, you can add a fourth color in some of the gaps, and I'm choosing yellow here because it goes well with my three other colors. Now use your ink blower to move the colors around, then add a little blending solution. Keep blowing and adding the solution until your inks have spread out a bit. And if you don't have an air blower, you could use a straw. Just be careful to not inhale the fumes too much. Now you can add a bit more color if you like. And to avoid getting too crazy here, I'm just reusing the same turquoise and then I'm continuing to spread the ink around. By the way, adding a white sheet of paper under your gel plate will help you see what you're doing. I didn't do it at first because it can make your plate slide around a little bit, but I wanted you to see exactly what I'm doing here. If you create a patch of color you don't like, or maybe too much of the same color in one spot, dab it with some paper towel while the ink is wet, just to remove it or tone it down a bit. And then you can keep on playing. Once you're happy with what you have, you must let everything air dry completely. Don't use a heat tool, you could hurt your plate. Just be patient. And I know it's hard because I'm not patient, but it's necessary here. Once everything is completely dry to the touch, use a brayer to apply a thin layer of white acrylic paint all over your plate. The wet paint will help you pull the ink off your plate. Then we'll need a sheet of paper, but just hold on. I found that it's much harder to pull the paper off when you use alcohol inks than regular acrylic paint, so I'm using 200 GSM cardstock here to make sure the paper won't rip. I wouldn't try it with copy paper. Now place the paper on top of the wet paint and burnish the whole surface with your hand or with your brayer. If you want to apply perfect even pressure or maybe you have arthritis in your hands, then you may want to use a baron. Now gently pull your paper off and take your time with this and don't worry if there is some residue left behind because it's normal. Now check out those awesome colors and the fun patterns and the slight sheen created by the inks. Wow, if you think that's cool, then how about we do it again? This time I'm starting with two shades of purples and some pink. Remember, I'll put all the supplies used in this video in the description box below. I'll also add some gold mixative and some turquoise. If you don't know much about mixatives, well, they're actually a lot more dense than regular alcohol inks, so make sure to add blending solution directly on it after dropping it on your gel plate to help the particles break up and spread out. The more you can make the mixative move, the prettier it will look. If you don't break it up, you will end up with big patches that didn't blend with your other colors, so it won't look very organic.
Oh, and I have a little gift for you. You can download this gorgeous artwork for free. It's a high resolution PDF file you can print and use in your own artwork. It's the one I created on the video, but I reworked it to make it even prettier. You could use it as a background for cards or a journal page or tear it up for collage or just frame it. To get it for free, click the link in the description box and enter the code on the screen at checkout. If like me, you have a lot of residue left on your gel plate, then make sure to pull another print because the results are just as interesting. It would make a great original page background. I hope this quick introduction has inspired you to give it a go. And if you're worried about alcohol in staining your gel plate, then don't be because that won't happen. Now you have no excuse not to try it. And if you're not too sure what to do with these crazy colorful backgrounds we just created together, I'll give you some ideas in my next video.